React 18 introduces another hook called use ID. And I think it's a pretty cool utility hook. It doesn't really introduce much complexity. All it does, it really generates a new ID. And an official example from the docs uh, shows that you just have to import the use ID in a typical manner. You would import another hook like use state or use effect. And you just call it here and then you can use the result uh, to, for example, uh, create a, a label and a checkbox. So like now uh, with this HTML4 and the ID being this, the same values, you can click on the label and that would affect the state of the checkbox. Whereas like if you, if you don't know this trick, if you don't have it, if you click the label as I'm clicking right now, the checkbox will not be checked. So it is pretty neat. It's not really groundbreaking, I would say, but it does uh, it does save some mental capacity because like I I don't really enjoy creating or coming up with different uh, you know labels or, or or IDs. So I guess that's pretty neat. Uh, one additional thing um, that I want you to know is uh, see this is the the colon r1 colon is the ID that was generated. And you cannot actually use the query selector uh, method on it. So if you try to do query selector all, and then that's the ID. So it's going to be hash and then R1, I believe, right? Was the, was the, yes, that was the ID. If you try to search for that, it's just going to return an error. So you cannot do that. Uh, but I think that's the only caveat here. Uh, and also one important thing uh, in the uh, create root, function, which is the new function that was delivered together with React 18. And it comes from the React DOM slash client package. You can also uh, specify a prefix for your IDs. So if I just uh, type in hello here, you'll see that the uh, that my use ID uh, ID was prefixed with uh, whatever I put here uh, as a uh, identifier prefix. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I think this is a pretty cool feature. I think it does, it, it can save some time, some mental capacity, because I, again, I, I, I think coming up with IDs is the most te tedious thing in my own uh, experience. So uh, I'm glad the React team is doing something to aid us developers. Um, so that was pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you guys like the content. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And, and please leave a comment if there's any topic that you would like me to cover. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time.